We all have a dream, and every dream begins somewhere. When I was four years old, I was in my first play in Romeo and Juliet, and that was the beginning. I've been, I've been in the business since I've been eight years old. I went in, I did an audition for this thing, and the commercial went national, and, and that's, I got the bug. I got into theater when I was in second grade, and my mom found a flyer for like a local community theater. The show was Annie, and I was like, oh, okay, maybe I could totally do this for the rest of my life. A dream is one thing, but reality is another. I'm gonna take you guys in my dressing room, come on. You get a lot of people who are from small towns who are always the lead, a big fish in a small pond. And they step into New York and they're a small fish in a huge pond. And they gotta get that reality check. Sometimes when those people get that reality check, they can't accept it. There's pride in competition in Broadway just because it is what it is. You put a bunch of theater people together, there's gonna be competition. But the best actors have never been in competition with anybody but themselves. To reach the top, they must take a leap. Coming to New York out of college was a huge shock. It was completely opposite from what, what I was used to. I didn't go to Carnegie Mellon to come out and struggle for a long time. I came out to book a Broadway show. We get the phone call in the middle of dinner, like I'd just gotten my food. So I'm 16 years old, I book a lead in a Broadway musical and I have a week to pick up my life, move across the country without my mom. <laughs> and with no idea how to take care of myself. When the dream is Broadway, there will be struggles. Working at a restaurant right by the Lincoln Center, you've got actors and producers and people that are in the industry, and any day now, someone could just walk in and something could happen. Were you, were you in Spring Awakening? I was. Oh my god, you're so good. I just, you know, being a server is not glamorous, but you know, you gotta do something, I guess. And then I saw like Brokeology understudy auditions and I was like, that's mine. This is my show. I went in for that. I was on food stamps. My phone was off. I was like struggling. When you're not doing shows, what do you do to make money? Just you save money and then unemployment. And then you get like the odd job here and there. Yeah. And you know, you hear a lot of people talking about like, oh well, I, I had a hard past or I did this or I did that. Doesn't matter, dude. Everybody has pain. All pain's the same. It hurts. I don't want you and mom to be, you know, think that I'm, like, not trying hard because you know I am. Their stories are different, but what drives them is the same. It's the fire, and it's wonderful and scary because at the same time that it, like, inspires me to get up every day and start the chase, it also reminds me that at the end of the day when I come home, whatever ended up happening is my responsibility. Emma, you're so famous. People keep knowing you. <laughs> People recognize you a lot? Uh, yeah. Of course. Got the name on the door. Wow. I just got a, um, an email from the director, and they said that I got it. <laughs> no, I'm not understudying. I'm going to actually play one of the leads. Yeah. Mom, she, she's crying. No matter what level they're at, there will always be challenges. I've had to change my email address like four times. Uh, I've had to change my phone number a couple of times. I have a restraining order on one person. I had somebody create a Facebook account and say it was me and talk to my friends. and It was a pretty bad situation. I mean, I've been working since I was seven and I'm one of the youngest people attempting to do this. I guess you could say I'm like the Broadway version of a child star. Well, I don't really have enough time to do relationships right now. My life is consumed with the show and with rehearsals. My main focus is my career, my job, my path in which I'm taking to, to obtain all of those things and to keep them. Okay, I've been in a, a Broadway show, which is amazing, but at this moment, I'm exactly where I was a year and a half ago when I had no job. I'm an unemployed actor. It's a crazy time in New York right now. <laughs> Broadway is a hot mess. You look around and half these houses are closed. Even for someone like me, who doesn't have an agent or a manager or credits, really, you know, how am I gonna get a job if celebrities can't even keep a show open? As quickly as I got here, just like that, it could be taken away. This is my journey. Everybody's journey is different. Through trial and setback, to triumphs and success. This is their journey. They are curtain calls.